Hello everyone, welcome to a PowerShell video this time by me, Ed. And in this video, I want to demonstrate how to get the Windows activation of any number of machines in your environment using PowerShell. Now, the script, apparently the sys uh, script section is going to fall away in the coming months, Microsoft are changing stuff. But the script currently works uh, using the VB script that is part of Windows. And I just modified the script instead of having a one liner to um, give it to you in a grid. Number one, number two, you can specify the number of machines that you want to test this against. So uh, the only thing really to change in the script is the server names. You can see the specified here in inverted commas separated by a comma. And then it displays a grid at the end. So if I run this script, it takes a few seconds to run. And what it does is it lists the computer name for you. It lists the activation status. Um, because this is machine sitting in Azure that gets destroyed all the time or updated, they are obviously not licensed. But on my blog, where I have a script for you that you can download or copy. It actually lists uh, the actual version and when it was activated. Uh, this is uh, These are trial machines because I don't need to license them because I destroy them all the time. So a quick script. So if you have a few hundred machines, you can obviously change the remote machines to call a CSV file and it should give you the output as well with all the activation status of every single machine. And obviously if it can't reach the machine, it will give you an error. So this is just a part of my series of scripts that I'm creating for you that you can go and use PowerShell to make your life easier and give you the information you need instead of trying to find something to work. Um, and as you can see, this works in PowerShell um, ISE. You can obviously run it from normal PowerShell as well, or from the Exchange Management Shell. I've tested it on all three, and it should give you the same output. So there's more coming in the series of PowerShell scripts. Look forward to sharing with you, and thank you very much for watching.